Hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9 and the latest teardown subject that has just arrived in the post is this flight data recorder control unit so I don't think we'll get any funky tape mechanisms now as you can see the thing is in an absolute terrible condition hence I got it for next to nothing here's a gasket seal that came out the plug now this looks like it's been sitting in a scrapyard in a vat of water for about a decade if you ask me so the electronics are going to be pretty decimated inside this switch just about works this one is completely jammed and this one took the pliers to force it to do anything but it's still incredibly stiff so you're not going to get many if any reusable parts out of this thing and you've got this funky little orange thing in the middle that I don't know what the hell that's about but it looks cool so shall we crack it open and see what's inside because I'm interested to see exactly is it analog is it digital are we looking at discrete logic you know what, what kind of things are we looking at here so we'll undo these two back screws hopefully they're not completely rusted through Ooh, something moves in on the front panel oh yeah we're going to need a bit more of a beefy screwdriver than that thankfully we have that to hand because I've, through doing many of these I have learned it's your standard clip array that Plesley seem to love where it's more of a and then ooh well it most certainly ain't digital look at that surprisingly it looks in better condition inside than what I expected and of course you've got the standard absolutely fantastic quality military construction you've got a nice PCB arranged on the switch mechanism in the front and it seems to rely entirely because you've got date, month, flight number. So say we want flight number 1020. Then we're going up on the 2nd of the 8th. Or actually we'll go, what is the date today? The date is 5th. So we'll actually go 5th to the 8th. Then, well, that still doesn't explain what the funky orange thing is which actually has wires going to it if you look in there quite an interesting little set out actually you can see that the thing is corroded horribly we've got a nice small troidal transformer so this obviously receives a full 115 volts uh, what, uh, what's the frequency again? 100 or something hertz I think it's 120 hertz <coughs> but this funky orange thing is still an unknown but it might be like one of those sorts of mechanical cat's eye things that tells you whether it's on or off it's hard to really tell however from this if these are still good you could actually make a resistance box because that's the thing this does look in bad condition then it might just be sort of tear down reuse the parts because you could restore all these switches and knobs and with a fair amount of rust you could probably get this looking a lot nicer than it does but yeah not really a lot in here you've got cow modes various modes on here but yeah it's for the flight data recorder it's an analog control system and thus I have no way of fully understanding it because I understand digital better than I do analog can we get this switch to do anything? no I'm not sure what I'm going to do but I might actually attempt making a resistance box of this panel because it's about the only thing in there that is actually in a reasonably intact state that isn't too badly covered in corrosion but for now thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed